فقط دو به سوال Hello, inside for human. If you hear a dog bark, that's JJ. The, my parents are they babysitting a dog, and they asked me to take over, and they asked me to baby, and they asked me to look over the dog, and now the dog is in my video. Anyway, Shin Godzilla is probably one of the best movies. Okay, bye. Okay, anyway, Shingazo is one of the best movies ever. <laughs> okay, uh, the characters Randall Huguchi, um, the Prime Minister, the lady politician from America who's also Japanese for some reason. Am I couldn't just get an American, natural American actor. I don't know. Huh, well, whatever. Uh, every character is, me is memorable in this movie, you can not really remember, a lot of them, uh, okay, at best. <laughs> I think the part, I think the movie understands that the politicians really don't matter, they're just there. That's what gets this movie, because politicians in Japan aren't really the best. They did terrible with the... 3A disaster, they did a terrible job. And even the mech, and I don't know. I, I don't get its politics. Anyway, debate. It's mostly a political movie, and if you don't understand Japanese politics, you are really not gonna get into this movie. And even if you do understand Japanese politics, um, this movie's. If you do like Japanese politics, it's probably gonna get into you. I know, like, the general audience. Didn't like this movie, especially like Rob and my mom. <laughs> they didn't like this movie that much. Ugh, I think, I think even my mom said it's like the worst <laughs> cousin movie out there, which I highly disagree. It is not the worst cousin movie out there. There are so many worse than this. Because <coughs> <coughs> of Yeah, this movie is pretty good. Especially with the city destruction scenes and Godzilla's. I think the best scene in the side movie, let's face it, is the city destruction scenes. And especially the fight with the military. That's probably one of the highlights of the movie with Godzilla just fighting. And let's not forget about that trailer that came back in 2016, like a couple months before the release of Shin Godzilla. It was one of the best trailers out there. Super Super, it was one of the best. Like that trailer, the song that I'm listening to right now is from the trailer. And that one, that made this trailer so much better. It made, I think the hype of Shin Godzilla was a bigger hype than the hype for Godzilla 2014. And to be honest, I think Shin Godzilla is way better than 2014. Sorry. Shin Godzilla is way better than 2014. Even though a lot of people like, well, 2014 is kind of mixed. This movie is kind of, 2014 is boring. It doesn't make any sense, but because Shin Godzilla is more such what got kaiju. I know people say 2014 is what got kaiju genre back into fear shape. Got the kaiju genre back into. Popularity, but nope, it was Shin Godzilla. Shin Godzilla is what got the Kaiju genre back in popularity. G14, let's be honest, the monster first didn't start until Consequel Island. Godzilla 2014 was just a one time deal, they didn't think it was gonna go anywhere. It was actually Consequel Island that started, that started the monster first, let's be honest. Anyway, Shin Godzilla is one of the best movies. What do I give this movie? Well, we talk about the Kaiju action. Uh, there's really only one Kaiju. I think it is four, if you could the four, but five. If you could have five sync phones, of Godzilla.
Shinka to the... It's probably one of my favorite movies. I think it's also one of my most watched... You better not bike. You better not bike. Oh. And now let's talk about the best scenes in the entire movie. The atomic web scene. Oh my god, that scene's so intense. We like how it, I like how Godzilla bleeds in this movie. Tell me, can you bleed? <laughs> it is one of the best scenes in the entire movie. I highly recommend it. Just see it, that scene. Oh boy, that fucking scene. It is wow, one of the best scenes in the entire franchise. Just think the movie. Think. Even the haters have to agree that the best scene in the entire franchise is that the entire franchise in, the, in Shin Godzilla is the atomic breath scene. That is the best scene in the entire movie. Let's be real. That scene fucking owns the movie. One of the best. Oh boy. Shin Godzilla is probably one of my favorite. Because of the films out there, I highly, I want to see this film. <laughs> I wish I saw this film in theaters. That would have been so cool. I wish they would be reset in theaters and instead of making it like limited release, only releasing for two weeks. Actually, it was just three for weeks, but not many people remember. Actually, I think it was released for a month. Uh, but I wish. I wish it had more than just one release. I wish it had like a couple more releases. Sugar is one of my favorites. When I first saw it, I, I didn't like it at first, to be honest. But after watching it a couple more times, this movie got this movie really good on me. And it's probably I don't know. The power I rate this movie, uh, probably. 9.9 9 out of 10. No, wait. 9.7 out of 10. Probably one of the best. If not the best because of movies out there. I highly recommend it. Go watch it. Stop listening to me. Just watch this movie. And if you don't like it, then listen to me. But it is one of the best Godzilla movies out there. Godzilla. Now, with that out of the way, let's get to the next review. After the song's over. <sighs> I love that Tommy Graf scene. And also that Atomic Breath scene inspired the Atomic Breath scene in Single Point. Let's be real, it did. This is that final shot of us. I've got the Ultima in that scene. Magic remote? Do you magic. Gotta find that song. Did anyone have a song for her? What is that? Yeah, it's time to get to the big boy. Alto Hunter's favorite review. Maybe not my favorite cards of the movie, but it's one of the best. Come on, get it all up here. Come on, get it all up here. Come on. Ah! 
No, JJ. Quiet. Let your makeup says in a minute. Jim K is probably the best cousin of moves out there. <laughs> Let's be real. It is one. I think my favorite character in this movie is probably Yui. And Admiral Tachibani. It's probably... One of my favorite Godzilla movies, and one, probably one of my most watched Godzilla movies ever. I think I watched this recently. For this review. <laughs> Godzilla Mafia and King of the and Giant Monsters All Attack. I said the title really fast. It's probably one of the best movies out there. Uh, I think this movie, I highly recommend. It's one of my favorites. Mo all the monsters are used well. Sadly, Bergon is not in the movie that much. He's only like, what, the first 30 minutes? Well, actually, 40 minutes. I, I forgot what part he died at. Spoilers. For like, what, a 20 year old movie? GMK is also probably one of the strongest Godzillas out there. And the characters in this movie are really memorable. All of them are memorable. You can relate to them very well. And this movie has this mysterious... Has such a mysterious vibe, like you don't know what's going to happen next, and it keeps you up in suspense. And the monster scenes are probably the best monster scenes in the entire movie. And probably has one of the best fights with Godzilla fighting Baragon, even though Baragon gets his ass hit throughout most of the fight. Well, it does so... He does... Gave guys a run for his money. And this is probably. And just listen to this soundtrack again. Come on, how can you not resist that fucking thing? Probably the one of the best soundtracks in the entire movie. The entire franchise. Yeah. GMK is one of the best. And how can anybody top that soundtrack? You'll get that threat soon. And let's be for real. There's nothing more powerful than this soundtrack. Nothing can beat the soundtrack. There's no movie in the sense that can beat the soundtrack. Godzilla is probably OP. It's probably the most evil he's ever been. Probably the best Godzilla villain, villain interpretation of him. This is truly an evil Godzilla. He just kills people. Literally kills like tons of people during his introduction. Vampage. Literally shatters glass. Tramples over people. You get to see the scenes, such scenes in a very gruesome way. You get to see people get trampled. You get to see a lady in the hospital gets. Looks like Godzilla's not gonna kill her. Psych! Gets killed. And then Ghidorah, Mafa, Bearcon try to fight him. Bearcon gets killed. Mafa does put up a good fight against Godzilla. Just basically beats. So is Ghidorah. Mafia and Ghidorah put up a pretty good fight against Godzilla, but Godzilla makes a combat, beats up Ghidorah, and puts the breath, and then Mafia gets, almost gets booty damage, and then, and then Godzilla kills Mafia, destroys the military before that, then kills Mafia, my friend goes into Ghidorah and turns him into King Ghidorah. How lazy. This is one of my favorite movies. What do I give this movie? Uh, 
probably 9.9 out of 10. Probably one of the best. There's no top in this movie. This movie... It's probably one of the best. And how can you top a movie like that? Well, we have to go all the way back to the beginning. To where it all began. To where it all began. Baby, it's time to go back to the OG Guns War. The best of its time. And I'm pinning an epic rock music to that because this is the best Guns War movie out there. Let's face it. Georgia. This is one of the best movies out there. Probably one of my favorite Godzilla movies. I say that a lot. But this movie has a very good class. Dr. Serzar is probably the most important character because he builds an last signature. The only thing known to kill Godzilla unless he can another monster. Or Mecha Godzilla. But Godzilla probably this Godzilla is probably the most dangerous Godzilla out there probably way too overpowered this is hard. although he doesn't face any kaiju in this movie he is probably one of the strongest Godzilla characters in the movie the strongest interpretation of Godzilla, maybe like probably one of the top tier Godzilla movies. Godzilla villains. Godzilla, one of the best Godzilla movies out there. And God's, well, my Godzilla, Goja, or Godzilla of 1954. This is where it all began. And there's no topping Godzilla in this movie. Godzilla's one of the best. Is the nuclear annihilation. There's no running from him, he is the bomb. That's what they. It's a metaphor. This movie is basically a metaphor for nuclear war. And I would. There's a very bird version of this. Never heard of it. Yeah, I've watched it tons of times. Never really scared to see it. They cut a lot of scenes out. They literally cut out. They literally cut out like 20 minutes of the movie. And Godzilla is way. Emiko, Dr. Sozawa, Natsu, Tachibani. And. Not Tachibani. What's his name? Humani. Dr. Humani. He is. All the characters are good in this movie. They see the weird love triangle that's in this movie. Weird and.
this is probably the best Godzilla movie out there for a reason. A lot of people say this is the best Godzilla movie. Even though, in my opinion, it does have one. Uh, it doesn't really have any flaws. It's probably the best Godzilla movie out there. There's nothing in top in this movie. I don't know what could top this movie. Well, there is one thing. What do I give this movie? Out of five, five out of five. This movie's probably the best. Now, time to move to the final movie for Godzilla. The final Godzilla movie is time, boys. Time to get to my all time favorite Godzilla movie of all time. Godzilla Final Wars, yeah. What can I say about this movie? This movie is absolutely perfect. It is one of the most perfect Godzilla movies out there. It's batshit insane, but that's what I love about it. It's one of the most batshit Godzilla movies out there. One of the most insane Godzilla movies out there. Probably has one of the best soundtracks in the entire franchise. For good reason. I would love to hear the soundtrack over and over and over again. Oh boy. This is probably the best soundtrack in the entire franchise. Godzilla is way too overpowered in this movie. He's probably one of the strongest Godzilla, just killing every foe in one blow. Even though most of the foes are weak, but you don't really think about that. He's one of the strongest, well, except for Rodan, Incubus. Side. They're kind of on the strong side. We put up a fight against them. Yeah, Godzilla is one of the most epic monsters out there. Final Goji is probably the last Godzilla movie we're ever going to get in suits, but goddamn, they go out for the finale. Movie starts out with Matrix shit. I don't know. Starts out with the Tango fighting Manda. But Godzilla swung. Trapping Godzilla and Ice, and that's all you see. Godzilla for like that hour and ten minutes. Yep. Yeah, you don't see him till like what? Yeah, I'm 20 more. Which is what you expect. We had like too much Godzilla in the two hour movie. It will be with Dogman. Which I wish. The only problem I have with this movie is that the action. The Godzilla fights aren't really memorable. I wish the Godzilla fights were a little more overpowered. I wish the fights were longer in this movie, especially the fight with Fedora and Ebra. I don't mind Ebra getting killed, but Hidora, maybe. I heard that originally Hidora would have more screen time. And I kind of like what they did with new Ethan gets a suit. And please, Soho, give us one more movie with suits. I know. The CGI is taking over, but please just give us one more movie with suits, please. Well, this, or at least give us like a, you know, it's not like a Hyder Man, but it was an Ultraman crossover. I don't know. Any excuse to give us, what do I give this movie? 11 out of 10, baby. <laughs> Went overboard with the 10. Yeah. 
probably one of the best Godzilla movies out there. One of my favorites. And 5 out of 5. Best Godzilla movie out there. I highly recommend it. Even if you're not a Godzilla fan. You have a blah. Just laughing at me laughing at it. Which I kind of like. Seeing people laugh at it. Of how bad shit and crazy this movie is. Now that finishes Guts of the Month, I uh, wonder what I should do next. But I did my top 10 Godzilla movies all in one month. I did like a quadruple review with this one. <laughs> We'll talk about the kaiju fights. Kaiju fights on movie was memorable. And I think the best kaiju fight in the entire franchise is the final battle. Godzilla and Mothra versus Gigan. The final battle of Tokyo. Last 20 minutes of Godzilla goes so bad training. They cut to the humans, cut to the back, cut to the monsters, and humans back, 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 back. Goes it's completely insane. I just like how it's seen this fight gets. It's probably one of the best fights in the entire franchise. <laughs> Then we turn out Monster is not this wasn't even his true form. He goes into Kaiser Godor. Brand new version of Godor. Probably one of the two four legged doors we have in the entire franchise. This is my favorite and this is probably one of the strongest Godzilla foes out there. Kaiser Godor, Monster is probably one of the one of the strongest Godzilla foes out there. Probably the strongest Godzilla foes. Kaiser Godor could probably kill every monster if he had to. Because he overpowers Godzilla too easily. He nearly kills Godzilla until God's the power of I don't know what. Probably the Kamakamaha move. Anyway, that ends Godzilla month. The Kaiju fights are superb. Nine, 11 out of 10. And with that out of the way, I'll see you next year for Godzilla month. I'm probably going to do different kind of videos that's for you. Right now, I'm going to do a Fortnite poem. See you then. So, I'm going to go do signing off. Remember, stay big G fans.